Just before the break, Robin, we left you waiting for a second dose of either a placebo or a potential COVID-19 vaccine. That's right. As a volunteer for this trial, we have to get not just one, but two shots. And they warn us about potential side effects, but they say the short-term consequences could be part of the solution. It's been almost four weeks since my first shot of an experimental COVID-19 vaccine, and I'm back at UT Medical Center for my second dose. You just want to have a seat right in here. We'll be right back with you, okay? Really, thanks. Volunteer Research Group is heading up a human clinical trial for the drug company Pfizer. There are dozens of other vaccine trials. I qualify for this one. I'm just one of more than 40,000 who volunteered to be injected with the shot. Pfizer expanded its study group from 30,000 to include people as young as 16, as well as those with chronic stable HIV, hepatitis C, or hepatitis B. The study is also underway in 148 other labs, from Knoxville to St. Louis to Honolulu. This is the third phase of the clinical trial, the last stage required before approval to distribute the vaccine to the masses. Okay. My second visit is much like my first. 37.0. Okay. So it's 98.6. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> Yay. Now if you will bend your head back for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. That one. Mm -hmm. In this phase of the trial, they're testing me for COVID-19 <laughs> again. <laughs> Even though I've had one dose, there's still that possibility I get the virus. The only people who know whether I was vaccinated with the real deal or a placebo are the researchers and the pharmacist who gave me the first shot. If this COVID-19 test comes back negative, he'll give me the second dose. This machine turns out the results in minutes. I'm negative. So the second shot is on, but it's frozen. Come to room temperature for no uh, less than 30 minutes. And then once that's out, we can get approximately five doses out of that vial. This is what 80 degrees below zero looks like. The vaccine is thawed out, placed in a handheld cooler, and headed for my arm. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right. Now I'm okay. going to have you look to your left as I give it to you. Okay. okay, hang tight right there for okay. me. Okay, not so bad. Okay. Okay. Done. And since this is your second dose, you know we're going to keep an eye on you. At 8 o'clock that night, I document any significant side effects in an online diary. In our dressing room here at WBIR just to escape so I can take my temperature. I didn't want to have to do it in the newsroom. So just to save you guys some time, I took it 98.1 right where it needs to be. That's normal. As far as any other uh, side effects from the second dose that I got today, nothing. The next morning, though, it's a different story. I do have a fever. I just took it and it was 100.1 and that is to be expected as well. So for the most part, um, I feel okay. 24 hours later, got up this morning and felt back to 100%. So you may be questioning, um, is it worth it given you may have some of these side effects and for me absolutely it's worth it i had no side effects the following month leading up to my third visit is a recheck just probably to check up on the antibodies no more shots this time they take blood that will be analyzed to see if i've developed antibodies that protect me from covid19 dr bill smith who heads up the trial in knoxville says the early research appears promising and so far we've seen in the data that's available, we've seen antibody responses that are even higher than what is seen with having the infection itself. So that, that bodes well for the fact that the vaccines are likely to work. Dr. Smith with some encouraging words there, Robin. The journey isn't over. Let's talk about what's next. Okay, the good news is shots are done. No more. I do have three more visits between now and the year 2022. And in the interest of full transparency, uh, volunteers are paid for taking part, but I have chosen to do my, donate my portion to a local nonprofit. So if you are interested in taking part in a COVID vaccine clinical trial, call Volunteer Research, the number is 865 
305 drug. You can also find a link right now at WBIR.com. And if you have a question for me about the, va about the vaccine trial, please just text me at 865-637-1010 and I will work to answer them coming up tomorrow right here on 10 News at 6.